step to be a leader alone. And you're gonna, then you're going to be alone for a while, right? But you got your mom. So you always have your mom. So remember, you're not alone. And you got me too, and you got my book. But when you make that first step to be the leader, you're alone. You got to make choices alone. You got to do the. You got to be in a situation that you know it's a bad situation, but you know I'm not doing this, right? I'm not going to surround myself around this, right? And then you make that first decision to do that. The next time it comes up, you'll be able to make it easier and easier. Then you won't even be around it. And then the kids that are getting into trouble, they'll want to be around you because you're making different choices. And then you'll be a leader, and that's how you become a leader. And you are a leader, like you are. People, you have charisma. People will gravitate towards you. They want to follow you, right? But you got to believe in yourself enough to take that first step to be alone just for a little bit and be that leader. And that's it, man. Then trust me, everyone wants to be the leader, right? They do. But sometimes the, the, when you start going on that bad path and you become that follower, you get used to just following along. You don't kind of think for yourself. You got to think for yourself. Always say, listen, what, what would my mom do in this situation? What would my mom say, right? And then you make the opposite decision. And then you know, dude. And you know. And that's it. Yeah. But that's the truth. But then when you become a leader, like in eighth grade, dude, then you're a leader in high school, then you're a leader in college, then you're a leader in life. Yeah. And then you know exactly who you are. That's why this is like a test right now. And you can do it, man. You really can. And you're ready.